So today we are going to be talking about overcoming stress. And we're going to be talking about how to push through in the midst of storms in your life. That pressure that's going on in your life, we're going to be talking about how to overcome those things. Whatever you're going through, the stress, the pressure, the depression, we're going to be talking about that today. So thanks for watching the video. Keep watching. We Keep got some watching. good tips for you. In life, you deal with so much. You deal with stress from college, you deal with stress from work and depression, and uh, specifically, especially in the season that we're in with the holidays, we deal with so much stress, like financially, you don't know what you're gonna do for your uh, children, for gifts, and all this different kind of stuff. You gotta know how to push through and know that God has the best for you and he has something in store for you and your family. What we want you to understand is that God has not given us any sort of fear, any kind of worry, any kind of stress or depression. Mm -hmm. He's only given us faith and power and love and a sound mind. So we got to keep pushing no matter what it looks like. I know for me specifically being in school, sometimes it can get very stressful and I'm sure for you as well. Can it? It can get very stressful. It can get so stressful. So I, a couple weeks ago, I was writing a paper and I got so stressed about it that I was just like, I don't care if I make a 40, a 50, a 60, I just wanted to turn that thing in. You remember that? Yeah. I was just like, I don't even care about this paper. I just want to get the paper in. I don't care. So I'm stressed out about it and just like, no, don't give up on it. Keep pushing mm -hmm. through. Do your best and all this kind it's of okay. stuff. I'm like, eh, whatever. But she was right. And come to find out, when I a sound mind is not a mind that worries. The sound mind is a mind that is so confident in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And you know that he can get you through anything. He can uh, help you with anything. So I encourage you to let go of that stress. A couple years ago, and I would be so stressed out about this job and being in school and my relationship, all this different kind of stuff. And I would literally go to my coworkers and be like, they always would say, why are you not smiling? I would say, just if I'm not smiling, hit me and I'll smile. But it shouldn't take that. You should have your own self-motivation to know that you can get through anything. With God. With God, all things are possible. Luke 137, one of my favorite scriptures says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Should be impossible. Nothing should, should be, be impossible. impossible. Nothing should be impossible. Nothing. That biggest dream, that biggest goal is not impossible. Everything that you want in this life is possible. So why are you stressing about it? You can have anything you want and you yep. can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That college paper that you're worried about, you can do it. What you gotta do is get yourself out the way and put God in the center and he'll see you through. Trust him, depend on him, and he will make a way. That happened to me too like a couple weeks ago. I had this huge accounting test and I was like, oh my God, yep. accounting is hard. Like it's challenging, but I know I can get through it. I know I'm gonna get an A and I'm passed and everything. But I was like, okay, it's really hard. Let me just study, let me keep studying. And I was studying all night. I studied all morning. I studied right before I got doing the test. So I got a hundred on the test and then I got a bonus five points. A bonus five And I was stressing about it. And I was like, that, that was God. That was completely God because I know mm. that was not me, but myself. God's gave me some wisdom. He put it in my, my little head and I got it. <laughs> so whatever that thing that you're stressing about, do what we did. Give it to God. You can get above and beyond what you think you could get. Mm -hmm. You can get above that thing. You can get beyond that thing. You're asking God for five dollars. He want to bless you with five hundred. You're asking God for five thousand. He want to bless you with five hundred thousand or five million. <laughs> Dream big. Dream big and yep. know that it can happen. Mm -hmm. It's possible. I know I dream big all the time. I'm like, oh my God, I want a jet. I want a, uh, my own private jet. I want a huge house. I want to live. I want to live in Los Angeles with a huge house. I want a pool. I want a private jet. Um, what else? I want a Rolls Royce. And I dream big. And I'm going to get everything that I dream for because I put my mind to it and I have faith that I'm going to get that. So oh, y'all yeah. can laugh at me if y'all want to, but I'm going to get my stuff. <laughs> me too. I'm with you. You got to know that you can get it. You can have it. But it's all according to your mindset and your faith. Yep. How do you believe? Are you really believing what you say you believe? Or are you just talking? You're just talking about that you believe? Or do you really, really believe? Sometimes we tell other people how to get stuff and what we other people should do to get stuff, but we don't even apply it to our own life. Mm -mm. But we got to do that. We got to do it. And I believe in you. We believe in yeah, you. Yeah, we believe in we you. We love you, and we know that you can do it. 
And when it happens, make sure you tell us because yes. we want to tell everybody. We, we're going to put it on our, on our page. Everybody. We're going to share and everything. So make sure when you say when you put your faith to it and you stop stressing, make sure you put that testimony on Facebook, Twitter, tag us in it, and we're going to share it because that is yes. amazing. And that's the thing we're because we need, we need to tell people about what our God can do. That's mm -hmm. how we win souls. Yes. That's how we create disciples because we are doing what God wants us to do, and that's to tell people about Him. Yeah. And the only way we can tell people about Him is to tell Him, tell other people our stories, mm -hmm. tell other people what we've gone through, yep. tell other people our testimony. That's why Angel and I have take have to take the time to tell you all our testimonies yeah. because we don't have the perfect life. We're not, you know, just recording videos and living mm -hmm. this huge dream life. Nope. <laughs> we are human just like you are, and we go through some of the same things that you go through. We both work full time. We both in college. We go through some of the same stuff that you go through. We both work full time. We're both in college, family issues, all different kind of stuff like that. We deal with the same stuff that you deal with. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people think, well, the pastors and the preachers and the ministers and all these people up on the spotlight are perfect. No. And that's the issue. Pastors get on these huge pedestals and they put themselves on these pedestals and think they're all this and all that. But you have to humble yourself to be a servant. And I'm not ashamed to be a servant. I will serve as much as I can. I have to I'm humble myself to do that. You have to serve. And that's how you overcome stress. I was listening to a uh, preacher who was on TV and she was talking about how when you do stuff for other people, that takes the stress off of your yeah. life. Because that's healing for your brain. That's healing for your mind when you're focused on somebody else's situation and take your mind off of your situation. Because there's always somebody out there worse off than you. Always. Always. There's yep. somebody who you can always help. Even the smallest thing, you say, well, I don't have a lot of money. Some people, you'd be amazed who just needs a hug. A water bottle. A water bottle. <laughs> a dang water bottle. Seriously. A yeah. water bottle. You remember we were in a Walmart parking lot and that couple walked up to us? Yes, and they went in water. Yeah, well, yeah, they were both blind. Wait, no, they weren't blind. They were both deaf. You yes, they were both, they're deaf. both deaf. And they were asking for money on how to, something to do with something hospital bill or yeah. something it was something like that and i didn't have cash on me angel didn't have cash nope. on her so i said you know what we just bought some cases of water let's go get on some water yeah. and you'd be amazed at how grateful they were that they, so grateful they were so grateful they almost had tears in their eyes oh because most people would have said man i ain't got no money I ain't finna fool around let me hop in my car and uh what you be saying skedaddle <laughs> <laughs> let's just skedaddle and that's the first thing i thought about that's how you know you can't follow your dang flesh you gotta follow the spirit <laughs> Because God said, go offer a bottle of water. Even though you can't offer finances, offer a bottle of water. Yeah, and they were so and they were grateful for it. So grateful. But we don't realize that people, they, 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 it, it's not just these big, big old things that people want. It's the small things that we got to focus on sometimes. Yeah. And you know, we complain about all these different things and oh, I need a new car. Oh, I want a new house. Oh, I want this. And oh, I wish I had a better grade in school. There are people who sleep on stairs and mud and concrete, but you have a bed to sleep in. You have a roof on top of your head. Even you may have, a, you may sleep on an air mattress. You may even sleep in a sleeping bag. You have something that somebody wants. You complain about that old pair of shoes you got, but some people walk around barefoot. You complain about, oh, I really need a new suit, but some people don't have a suit at all. And you just the smallest thing, thankful. Just the smallest thing is you woke up. God breathes life into your body. You gotta yeah. learn how to be thankful for the small things in life. So, what's the key tip? Take your mind off of your situation, focus on other people, be a servant, humble yourself, and give all your stress and all your worries to God. To God, yes. He did not give you the spirit of fear. He gave you power, love, and a sound mind. Partake of it, embrace it, and go be a blessing to somebody else. Yes. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. We love them. Yeah, we do. We love y'all so much. If there's anything that you need, do not hesitate to reach out Please to us don't. on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're not one of those couples who just focusing on us and ain't gonna reply. We love you, so we want yes. you to talk to us. Please do. We will talk back to you. <laughs> Follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash court God's way. Yep. Twitter.com slash courting God's way. And Instagram.com slash courting God's way. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our this channel. YouTube channel. Because we love you so much. We have great things in store for you. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep pushing through because this yes. is what our Father has called us to do. We're going to keep going. So we love you so much. 
Thank you for watching this video. You have anything else you want to no. share? No. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next videos. And yes. we love you guys so much. So much. God bless you. We're both uh, in, you know, dealing with, you know, family. We have, we're still. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God, babe. Okay. <laughs> we're human just like you are. We go to. <laughs> Okay. We're human just like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm about to end this video. Okay, hold on, hold on.